We'll talk about uh the fights last night. Uh, let's start with Essen Barboza. Essen Barboza knocks out Billy Cornillo. Bro, I was so sad, man. Yeah, yeah, I was rooting for Billy, man. Yeah, I've seen him at a few. At a few, he goes to some of the WCFL fights, doesn't he? Yeah, he all his like not all, but there's a lot. He has a lot of fighters at his gym that he coaches. Um, they fight there, so he's mm -hmm. always literally every event. He's always there coaching. Damn, yeah, Dude, it was it's, sad. Edson Barboza is a serious. I mean, it, it it goes to show what the UFC thinks of the guy putting him against putting him up against somebody like Barboza. Barboza is fucking serious, dude. Yeah, I know, and I didn't I didn't think really like not a lot of people know about Billy. So like, the fact that the UFC put him up against him is kind of crazy with him not really being that known. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people people don't people don't a lot of people don't realize how. You know how much Edson Barboza, dude. He's fought like the best in the world. He's beat Anthony Pettis. He's beat like he's beat. He's knocked out a lot of guys. So, I mean, I shoot. That's that's a. I mean, if if it were me and the UFC gave me that matchup, I'd, that'd be a compliment for me. I'd be I'd be happy about that. Oh yeah, the money was probably good too. <laughs> yeah, it was sad oh, to yeah. see. Yes, sir. <laughs> it was sad to see Billy lose, but you 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 can't be upset with Edson Barboza getting a win because you know he's a legend. Still to yeah, be, no, yeah, still to be winning at such a high level too, for how long he's been fighting, it's crazy. Yeah, man, yeah, we he has kinda, a lot we, of mileage on his body. Mm -hmm. We, we kind of, we were, me and you were kind of talking about this before, before we came on here, dude. Like, if, if he ever developed the jujitsu and wrestling skills he needed, he would have, he would have been champion long time ago. Not even jujitsu. All he needed was like takedown defense. Mm -hmm. Anything, any kind, any type of elite grappling, so, so like, like, yeah, even just that, just the ability to keep people from taking him down, dude. He would have been champion a long time ago. I truly believe that. That dude's a fucking animal. Yeah, and that's why I thought Billy was gonna win because Billy doesn't really get tired, and he mixes up his strikes with his wrestling real well. Yeah, I also thought Billy was gonna win too. I thought he was gonna grind him out, tire him out, and then probably win by TKO. That's yeah, what I, I like thought the was going to happen. The only way Barbosa was going to win is by knockout like the first or early second round. He still got it though. That was great timing on that knee. He still got it. Yeah. So athletic. Man. Yeah, that's he's crazy. one of the most physically gifted UFC fighters I've ever seen in terms of just raw athleticism. Yeah, it's crazy. I look I look forward to seeing who he fights next cuz I don't know who they're going to put him up against next. Now Billy, I thought Billy would be ranked. Billy wasn't even ranked though. So That's I don't know are they going to give him. Uh, his, I, I don't know if his last fight, but um, one of his last fights, he lost to Shane Burgos when Shane Burgos was like mm. number 14. That's why he wasn't ranked. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Uh, I wonder think, if Barbosa is going to get a ranked fighter next. Even though, he, even though everyone thought Billy won, they gave it to Shane probably because of the bigger name. Do you think if Barbosa improves on his grappler, like if, if, he, if he gets to a point to where like Woodley, he's hard. He, he, you can't take him down. You think he can make like one more run at the title? You think he still got it in him? No, I think I Justin think Gaethje Wood KOs him again. <laughs> Who? Justin Gaethje. No, that was a uh, Billy fights at forty five. They were they fighting at, at forty five. They fought at forty five. Barboza went down. No, Billy. I know Billy fights at forty five, so he doesn't fight at fifty five. Bar Bar Barboza only fought at forty five once. You can check that real quick. I think against Anthony Pettis. Unless they pride. It was at forty-five. Yeah. It was. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. I thought it was lightweight. But he's not. He's not beating. He's not beating Volk ever. Like. Not, yeah, Volk will wrestle I don't, think, I don't even think he beat Yair. That would be fun. Him and Yair Rodriguez. It would be, it would be a crazy fight, bro. That would be fun. You think he at least make one more run at the title? Not that he'd win it, but you think he'd get there? Get to a title shot. I think so, man. I've, I think his striking is still there. If he if he could if he could get the takedown defense right, I think he make one more run at the title, man. The, the problem is, is he's gonna have to go through Max Holloway. Yeah, the problem I is would, Max Holloway's becoming that gatekeeper. That fight, Holloway versus Barboza. I would love to see that. Yeah. That would be that would be a crazy fight. That'd be fucking insane. Him versus Yair would be insane too. Mm -hmm. What you guys were just saying. Yeah. He got a long way to go though. He'll probably have to win like four fights. Depends. But, if he wins like one more by knockout, and then he gets a ranked opponent and wins that one. 
Maybe they'll start pushing him. I don't know. Uh, he's kind of old. He might. You're you're right. He might they, need like four or five more fights to get but back they, up there. They could because of his name and because he's older. They could. I mean, they could jump him up. But I don't think they want to risk like him winning the title, like a GSP, him winning the title, and then like leaving, maybe losing once or not fighting again because mm -hmm. he's so old. Yeah, he's old, but like. No, I'm not talking about him right now. I'm talking about after the however many fights he has to take, whether it takes one year, two years, maybe maybe three years, because, again, he is an older fighter, so he's not going to fight three times a year. I know, but, I mean, I think I think even though he is an older fighter, if you look at him genetically, like, he looks like oh, he's he kind of remi he, he reminds me of Romero. Like, he's going to yeah. be able to fight into his 40s. Like, Barboza's going to be in his – Barboza's going to be good for a while. Like, he's, he's a freak. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. a specimen. Yeah, you could tell like he's not just gonna turn like thirty six and then just fall off a cliff. Like he he'll be good for a little while still. All right. So speaking of uh, Max Holloway he beats Arnold Allen, it was a it was a pretty pretty one sided. It was close but one sided at the same time. It was like it was nah, a good bro, fight, it, but I it was it clear two, Max. I won. had it two, um, two three, Max. Yeah, yeah. I had it. I also had it three two. Well, two judges I think gave it four one to Max, but I had it three yeah, two. Yeah, those judges were smoking. Sorry. Yeah, it's just I think it's just depending on that last round. That last round, Arnold Allen was winning the whole time until yeah, yeah, the very he end. He got round, dropped. Sure. Arnold won the the fifth round, and I think he won the third. Yeah, yeah, the third. Yeah, I had Max up two zero. So yeah, Arnold. Yeah. I had Arnold getting the third. But Arnold, <laughs> Arnold proved that he belongs, bro. Not a lot of people knew him until he knocked out Dan Hooker. And again, before Dan Hooker, he was going to a lot of def decisions. That's why they probably weren't pushing him uh, mm -hmm. like fast, even though he was on such a big win streak. But he proved that he belongs in the top five in that division, for sure. He looked really good in that fight. Oh, yeah. You see, he stood up with Max for five rounds. You see what happened to freaking guys when they stand up with Max for five rounds. They get fucked up. So yeah. he stood there for five rounds, and honestly, he looked... Max looked worse than he did. <laughs> like yeah, his face. Max, I think I it just I felt like Max just felt awkward because again, he's this guy's a southpaw. Mm -hmm. Um a southpaw that really he can do both. Usually when you when you watch southpaws, let's just say like Connor for instance, he doesn't really initiate. He's he's they they usually counter off of <clears throat> off of like right-hand fighters. But he was initiating. He was countering. Arnold was doing everything, mixing it up real well with the kicks. He was doing everything. So I could see. I I just feel like it was what Arnold was doing that made Max look bad. I I feel like when I look at, you could tell like Max Max Holloway. He he's not falling off or anything. He 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 he's still exactly where he where where he needs to be. But you could tell he's starting to slow down a little bit. Like, yeah. like all the significant strikes are adding up. Like you could just see it. I mean, you, you, you he's been like, in so many wars. Like, yeah. So who do who do we want to see Max Holloway fight next? He did call out the Korean Zombie, but I don't know if I want to see that he's fight. He's gonna kill him. Yeah, I'd like to see him fight uh, Giga Chikadze. That's who I'd like to see him fight next. I thought they already fought. Have they? I thought Giga got his ass whooped by Calvin Cater. It was somebody. He yeah, it was Calvin. Fight. It was Calvin Cater. He got his ass whooped by Calvin Cater. He hasn't um, fought in a while, too. Yeah, since that fight. Yeah, or you could see Max fighting Ilya Taporia. Ilya Taporia is up there. What rank is he? Because he's I don't ranked think he's, uh, he's not nine. That high, is he? Yeah, he needs another fight. I think Ilya actually has a fight lined up. Yeah, but the problem is everyone in between, Max has beaten. I mean, has he beaten Josh Emmett? Josh Emmett's up there. He's at five. Um, he will beat the hell out of Josh Emmett. I no think I think that fight. should be I think that should be the next fight unless unless it's like a Josh Emmett versus Taporia fight and then the winner of that gets Max because again Max isn't getting a title shot unless he cleans everyone. I don't think he gets another one against right. Alex. I mean I, I'm rooting I'm not gonna lie I'm rooting for Yair to beat Alex just so Max can get a title shot again, <laughs> but. He probably he. I mean, I don't know. I think he can if, but he has to literally wipe the entire division. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, who else would be there? Alex has to fight somebody. Yeah, and so far he is. Guys can't get past him. 
I mean, but Yair well, was still able to get the, a title he's shot. Like the, the gatekeeper now, but just mm -hmm. because he's not really going to get a fight until he wipes everyone, he's like the gatekeeper. So I don't, I don't know who they're going to go with. I, I don't know if I like the Korean zombie fight. I think he'll kill the Korean zombie. Yeah, um, that's not a good fight. I like the Josh Honestly. Emmett fight, or just jump up Ilya Taporia. That'll be a fun fight. I honestly don't think there's a whole lot of fights left for Max for Max at 145. I think he should either. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I think I don't know about 55, but I think. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. He was. I, think, I mean, he I looked think good against Portier, but he was so I, I small, bro. I think. Yeah, I think Max is. I don't think he's big enough for uh 55, and I don't think he has the wrestling for 55. There's it's a it's a whole different ball game over there, but um. I think he'll kill Josh Emmett. I really don't think that's a close fight. I really I, like. I don't think there's a whole lot of fights left for Max Holloway at 145. So, I don't know, man. I I, I don't know. I don't know who's next. I don't know who's next. I'm I'm, I'm I haven't decided yet. But mm -hmm. and that's the thing too. Like a, a Max fight versus Emmett. I'm sorry, but he was getting he was getting hit clean, uh, by Portier at 55. I don't see anyone at 45 knocking him out. I feel like that's the only way Emmett would beat Max. Max, dude, Max would piece that guy up. Yeah, he like wouldn't he even would, be able to touch him like, 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 like Yair was doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Max will do, Max will do that. But, dude, Max will, make, Max will make Emmett look like Ortega. But, like, probably worse. Yeah, it would be worse. I think the fight to do, <laughs> yeah, just do Emmett versus either Giga Chikadze or Ilya Taporia. And then the winner fights Max Holloway. I think that's the move. That's what I was thinking too. I don't, I don't like that Korean zombie fight. We like to see. I mean, maybe do Korean zombie yeah. versus Josh Emmett, and then do Giga <laughs> versus Ilya Taporia, and then the winner of that fights Max. But I don't know. I, I I just think Max kills the Korean zombie. I don't want to see the Korean zombie go out sad again, like he did against Volk. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. Because we love yeah, the I Korean mean, zombie. Yeah, I feel I feel like people see Max lose to like. People see Max lose to um, Volkanovski, and they think that like, oh, he lost, so a whole bunch of people can beat him now. Like, there's, I don't think anybody but Volkanovski in that division. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was, that's nobody what I was can saying, even come bro. close. He's, he's light years ahead of everyone except for Volk. No one like, can even weird. come close. It's weird. Like, like if you're not Volkanovski, it's almost like you're not. It's like Max and Volkanovski are like up here. Or Max is here, Volkanovski's all the way up there, and everybody else is down here. Like, oh, it's like, it's like the uh, same thing. I mean, Leon just beat Usman, but it was the same thing with Usman and Colby. Like, Colby would have been the champion if it wasn't for Usman being there. Oh yeah, Colby, mm -hmm. Colby have been champion for a while now. Yeah, like it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah, like, Max, Max. I, honestly, I don't see Max beating Volk again. Or yeah, beating Volk again because I think he won the second fight. You know, if we're being hundred percent completely on, and and I hope he doesn't do this because he's still in his prime. He's got a lot of fight left in him. But I mean, I wouldn't be completely, I wouldn't be completely shocked if Max retired, dude. Like, what else does he have to prove? He's a millionaire. He's been the champion yeah. pound for piece. Still, still to this fucking day in the pound for pound on the pound for pound list. Like, what, like, what else does he got to do? He's, he's. I just think he, I just think he enjoys it so much, bro. And it's not yeah. like, bro, he doesn't even, like, he said this camp, he sparred a little bit. But, like, he doesn't even spar, so it's not like he's having wear and tear as, tr like, training wear and tear. Because y we all know training is harder than the fight. Like, mm -hmm. it's not like he he's putting his body through through hell. Like, sparring, getting harsh sparring rounds or whatnot. Yeah. He's fr he's coming in fresh, fresh, fresh brain, not really getting hit a lot. Fresh, fresh body, so he could do it for a long time. I think the thing that the thing that kind of worries me about it, though, he's not really like laboring. The can. thing that kind of worries me about it though is that I feel like the reason why he's not pushing so hard in training is because, like we 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 know that you know Max can put people away. He's TKO'd a lot of people, but he doesn't have that one punch knockout power. We all know that, oh, so he. Yeah. He ends up finding himself, if he can't put his opponents away, he ends up finding himself in a lot of fucking wars inside the octagon. And I think that's why he kind of spares himself in training. He doesn't spar that much because he knows that, you know, he's in for a war if he can't knock his opponent out. And I, I, I think that, you know, 
you can only go through so many wars. But I mean, if 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 he's still fresh and he's still, I mean, he's he looked great last night, obviously. So, I mean, yeah, if he still if he could still keep going, but I just you know I don't think he's gonna be Volk. Um, I don't think there's that many fights left for him at 145. So no, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever he wants though. Yeah, I don't know. I just think he's just enjoying it. Like he's not really laboring himself. Like the Yeah. game is, it, he's still enjoying it. He's not like, he's not like, damn, I really got to go to training. Too. Yeah, he doesn't Like need he's, to, he doesn't need to like really fight out of necessity anymore. yeah. He's just having fun, which is good. All right. So now the next UFC pay-per-view, I, man, this, they're taking some hits because it went from looking like, it was still looking like a pretty bad card, but decent, worthy, at least like bare minimum worthy of pay-per-view. But now it's like, I don't think it's worthy of pay-per-view at all. <laughs> Is then, that the Henry Cejudo? yeah, it's the Henry Cejudo, Aljamain Sterling one. So the Charles Oliveira, Oliveira Benil Daryush fight was removed. It was rescheduled because Charles got hurt. And then also Bryce Mitchell's fight was removed also. So, so far for the... So basically, so basically we're just going to watch a big wrestling match at the end of the night. <laughs> yeah, so we got the Aljamain Sterling, Henry Cejudo. We got Jessica Andrade fighting... In the co-main event, uh, Drew Dober and Cron Gracie. Uh, For wait, all, Drew Dober's fighting him. Drew Dober's fighting. No, Drew Dober's That's fighting right. Matt Frivola. It's just that. Okay. That's and then, probably the best fight on the card. <laughs> and Cron Gracie is fighting Charles Jordan. But yeah, yeah that's I, I ain't paid any bucks for that. not really. Yeah, not really pay per view worthy anymore. I see Marina Rodriguez on the prelims. She's pretty entertaining. She's got some knockouts. And then uh, Phil Hawes is fighting on the early prelims. But that's it, really. That's all they got. I don't know. I, and it's really not that many fights because a bunch of the fights got canceled. So I'll, I'll look to see if they try to scramble to try to get a fight on there. Because, Yo, yeah, this is... there's That one That one might be a wing house special, bro. <laughs> yeah, there's like hardly any fights. A lot of the fights got canceled. So I don't know, man. I don't even know if I want to pay for this shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a well, wing house I'm special. Buffalo Wild Wings. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings. That's a wing house special right there. Yeah, it's not. I mean, I think, I, to be honest with you, I thought the card with all the fights, I thought it was a pretty good card. Not like, of course, it wasn't like a great card. Mm -hmm. but there was a lot of underrated fighters on there that could maybe put on a show. But now it's, it's, not, it's not worth the pay-per-view. Yeah, I don't think it's worth a pay per view, but it's a good. It, it's it'll be a re this type of card would be a really good fight night, you know. Of course, minus the title fight, but because the title fight, you know, they do that on pay per views. But if one, hey, if one more, if one more fight, if a couple more fights fall out, they might make it a fight night. They do that sometimes. Yeah, they might have to, cause shit, there's like hardly any fight. I I don't think I haven't seen this little bit of fights on a UFC card in a long time. There's like really not that many fights. There's only fucking four fights on the for the pay per view for the prelims. It's only three fights. Wow, really? Yeah. The hell? And the early prelims, it's only four fights. So we're getting. They better turn that. They better turn that into a fight night because I don't know what the gate at the actual place mm -hmm. is going to even be at that. So we're getting eleven fights when normally it's like fifteen. Yeah, that, honestly, that kind of sucks though because that's going to ruin their fucking sellout streak. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think I don't think they're gonna sell out that arena with that card. Yeah, they need to scramble. They're probably scrambling trying to find someone to hop on, but the problem is, is that it's gonna be hard to find like, cause you you want you want at least one more fight on the pay per view. It's gonna be hard trying to find someone that's willing to fight, you know, on less than a month's notice. Top guys that are gonna fight on less than a month's notice to be able to put them on a pay per view. Yeah, they're gonna you know, they're gonna call they're gonna call Cowboy out of retirement. <laughs> you know what I was you know what I was yeah, thinking man. though. You y'all y'all know like these the cars the pay per view cars that really don't seem like we should pay for them that don't really look appealing. Bro, I don't know why they all be like popping. Like all the fights on there be good as fuck. Mm -hmm. Like like they just turn out to be like really great fights, like fight of the years and shit. Yeah, I remember there was a fight night not not too long ago. I think they were in Texas, but 
or some somewhere there was a fight night a little while ago it looked like uh we didn't really know anyone in the car it's not really watching and then it was literally like finishes every fight <laughs> even that um there was one it was that Bremer, brennan moreno and at least the one that i remember for sure is the brennan moreno figueroa figueredo first fight mm-hmm it was them. I think it was another title fight, but it wasn't like appealing. And then it was a bunch of weird fights on there for the under for the the fights under. And that card was like one of the best all time. Mm-hmm. Mostly because of the Moreno fight, but though I think there was a couple fights that were like fight of the month or fight of the year ca- um, candidates. Yeah, the fight on this card is yeah. definitely going to be the Drew Dober because Drew Dober always fucking just brings it. Every fight. I don't know that that Matt Frivola fight. Those two guys like brawl, so I mm-hmm. think I think that would be a really good fight. That could be fight of the fight of the night. Yeah, that one's gonna Frivola be fun. from Tampa too. That's another guy. Yeah, he's an RFC guy. Yeah, he's. Bro, I'm surprised he's still fighting, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of that Julian Lane guy from what? What's it? Like, <laughs> Let me bang, he bro. Just, he just goes out there and fucking bangs, bro. <laughs> bro, I trained with him, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> bro, that, I'm not gonna lie, he's scary, bro. And and the crazy thing is, like, wait, who, who'd you I train went, with? Julian Lane. Julian Lane. Ooh. Yeah, he. That was yeah, when he, was he first. I trained with him when he first um started the BKFC. Mm-hmm. When he first got signed to Bare Knuckle. But, yo, he, like, I went a couple rounds with him, and you know how small I am, bro. Like, and he, I, I, can, I know he was going easy on me, but it, I know he was going easy on me, but it's like, what I learned from him, and I could tell, like, I, I now I see how people, like, some people fight. Bro, he literally fights to hurt you. Like, he was punching my thighs, punching my forearms on purpose. Just so I don't throw my punches. <laughs> I'm like, what in the hell is going on? <laughs> That's sick. That's sick, dude. What, that was what fun, is- though. Who do you guys like in the Sterling and Cejudo fight? Cejudo. Yeah, that's I, like I said, Cejudo's been been out of the game for like three years now. It's just a matter of what Cejudo we get. If we get uh, like a half decent Cejudo, I think he's beating him because. Aljo's not going to be able to take him down, so his jiu-jitsu and his wrestling is not applied, and I think Henry Cejudo has way better striking. Like, I, way better. I think if Cejudo is 60% of what he was in his prime, there is levels to this game, bro. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. And I was I was talking about this last night, because they were talking about the... My, me and my friends were talking about this next card, and um, I do got to say, if Henry Cejudo wins this title... Because I think I, Ricardo, isn't this true? He he says he's planning to win this belt, defend it, and, and then, then move up. fight at forty five. Mm-hmm. If he, look, look, I'm if sorry, he, if, if, he, if he does he that, he is pick. top three all time. Top two, Easily. top two. I can give you that. I can give you that. Quadru- just, just quadruple C. Resume, just off of resume alone, top two. If he does this. Mm-hmm. And off a three-year layoff, bro. Honestly, I wouldn't be mad if people said he's the best of all time with the resume he's fought, fought with. Yeah. Hey, like, I just, I don't. Everyone, everyone at the lower weight that was the best in the world, he's fought. Like it's, it's crazy. Yeah, I think, um, I think some people will only, I well, most people, I think most people will leave him out just because he has a really good resume with like top, top fights. But his overall career resume just isn't up there with, like, Anderson Silva, John Jones. His so overall I, resume, GSP, isn't up there with them. But I, I do agree, though. He should be up there, without a doubt. If Demetrius I'm, Johnson I'm is up there, he should I'm be above sorry. Demetrius Johnson. But TJ on steroids is a harder fight than any of those guys had. Uh, especially, especially with Henry moving up in weight, and Henry starched him. It's not, it's not just TJ, man. It's Demetrius Johnson. Well, I know TJ, too, but I think Thomas TJ, Cruz. in my opinion, in my opinion, TJ is his most, especially him on steroids on EPO. That is his most impressive win, especially the way but, he won. Without a doubt, you can't deny if he goes up, if he goes up and beats Yair Rodriguez, then it's a little eh. But if he goes up and beats Volkanovski. 
There's no question. That's there's no question. And there and there is nobody on earth. Like there's no twenty five or thirty five or on earth other than Henry Cejudo that I think even has a chance. Has a chance. To be, yep. To be the That's my, I same. He mm-hmm. he is the only person in the UFC with better wrestling than Volk- than uh, not Volkanovski with better wrestling than with better Islam. grappling than Islam. Islam. He is the only person like like Olympic freestyle gold medalist fucking two time UFC champion like I don't know yeah yeah I don't know there's yeah, even there. there's he trains with you know he trains with Demetrius now right mm-hmm. he trains with Demetrius he trains John Jones. John Jones. He like and, and even Demetrius, Demetrius said, and even Demetrius said that they're both really smart fighters, like him and Demetrius. But Cejudo is the smartest fighter he's ever came in contact with, like spoke to. Like he is so intelligent. Every every move or every um tactic he uses is is calculated to the supreme degree. Like it's it's a different breed, bro. And if and if Henry Cejudo has no rust. Or even a little bit of rust, I think he's smoking Aljo. Like yeah, Aljo's gonna see. get slammed. Yeah, I think every, I, skill, every skill that Al, Aljo has, he has better, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's completely true. I also I think, think the only thing I think the only thing Aljo would have on Henry is the gas tank. Well, no, of course the size, but the gas tank. Yeah, I can mm-hmm. see that. Yeah, Henry hasn't gone five rounds in a long, long time, and Aljo has yeah. recently. So. That could play a huge factor in this fight. Uh, to me, uh, I think Henry Cejudo gets it done too. But to me, I, I don't care who the fuck wins. I just want to see Sean O'Malley get a title shot next. Same. <laughs> I'm just Same. ready. I'm ready for them to get this fight over with so we can see Sean O'Malley fight for the belt. That's what I want to see. I'm just, uh, bro, I'm so sad that Cheeto lost because I really wanted him to fight Sean. Mm-hmm. He, he, still mi- he still so could. Bad. He still could if been, he wins like bro, one that more. That would have been such a good like whole fight week, like the interviews, the fucking the whole the pre-fight press conference. That shit would have been so lit. Mm-hmm. I think they'll still fight again. San ha- Sanhagen just came off a loss before he won that one, right? Yeah, yeah, but he also yeah, he lost to the champion though. I think he he lost to who? Who he lost to? TJ, who was supposed to get the shot. No, he lost I mean, to somebody he else fought, after that. No, he fought um he lost to somebody else after that. I think he fought wasn't it Peter Yan? Yes. Yes, he lost to Peter Yan. It might have been, yeah. But yeah, that, was so he, lost, bro. that was when Peter Yan had the title though. But he beat uh Song Yadong after that. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but but yeah, Cheeto just lost one fight. He I th- I think he if he, he comes back and wins another one, that fight with O'Malley is is, is still there. I think it's still there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't give a I shit know, who wins this if, fight. If I just want to see O'Malley. If Sean, if Sean gets a title fight next, and Cheeto wins once, he's not getting the title shot. So it just depends on like all that. Because I think Corey Sanhagen mm-hmm. will get the fight over Cheeto. If you're not right now, if you're not giving Sean O'Malley the title shot, Corey Sanhagen is the fight. That's yeah, the fight. Yeah, that's definitely most definitely the fight to make. I, and I, I don't know if they want to do that because that's, bro. The whole thing with me is Sean is such a a big draw that I want him to to be in a title fight. Mm-hmm. But like, if he goes against Corey Sanhagen, it's like the same thing with Cheeto. That's why I didn't want it to happen. Yeah, like I, th- I just think Corey Sanhagen has a really, really good chance of beating Sean. It's, if Sean wins I the belt know. and then they fight, even if Sean loses a title shot, they should fight regardless. Man, him and him and Corey Sanhagen needs to happen. Needs to happen. That would be, yeah. That would be. I, I think that I think that's the fight that's gonna happen because if you're thinking about it from the UFC's perspective, they I don't like they. Of course, they want Sean O'Malley in the title in the title fight, but I don't think they want Sean O'Malley in the ti- just in the title fight. I think they want him to be the champion. That's probably what's best for the promotion. So they're probably gonna bide their time a little bit on giving him a title shot, and they'll probably give him Corey Sanhagen because that's a much more winnable fight than Cejudo and Aljo in my opinion, for him, and that, that fight will make a fuck ton of money anyway, so if he wins that fight, you know, and, and, uh, then he's in line for a title, I think that's, I think, in my opinion, I could be wrong, but that's probably what they're gonna do, just because they want to buy their time a little bit more for O'Malley. But no lie, though, if Cejudo wins, they've been talking shit to each other for so long that I think they would line that fight up, Sean and him. Hey, it'd make a fuck Mm -hmm. ton of money. Because I thought, to be honest with you, I thought um, 
due to the trash talk, like, like the whole time Cejudo was shit talking Sean and they were going back and forth. I thought they were gonna do that fight first, and then if Henry wins, he'd fight for the title. Mm -hmm. The UFC knows Sean is not ready for that fucking fight. Yeah, they know. I, I know that too. <laughs> you know, yeah, they ain't gonna do that. that. That level of wrestling, really, no one's ready for. Yeah, there's very few people on planet Earth that are ready for that. Mm -hmm. I, like I said, I think they're going to buy their time with O'Malley a little bit. They'll probably give him Sanhagen. I think that's the fight. I think the, whoever won out of Cheeto and Sanhagen was going to fight O'Malley. Especially if Cheeto won. Mm -hmm. I was thinking... You, you guys know Armin. Sarukian, right? Yeah, yeah, Sarukian wrestler. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought that he should fight Benil. Because his, his fight, his... um. Headliner fell out too with Moicano. Moicano got hurt or some shit. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking that they should fight. You guys have any thoughts on that? They should. I mean, they need a main. They need someone for the main event. The main event just got destroyed. So they need how someone. Did, how did Oliveira get hurt? Did... I don't know. No, they didn't say Probably anything about in training. Okay. It just it just just states that he's injured. Damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they probably didn't. But I th I just think that Armin's ready for that type of fight. Even though he lost, I think his last fight he lost to Gamera. Was it Gamera? It was somebody. Yeah, yeah, he lost to Gamera. But, but that that fight, I feel like those two guys are very underrated. I think those two guys are like the cream of the crop in the division. Those are the young guns that are going to be there for a long time. Once everyone else leaves, like Dustin and Gaethje and everyone. So I feel like Armin, that's that's not a bad bad matchup. Mm -hmm. Darius has been working his way up for a long time. Yeah, Bro, Benil Darius has been due. He should he should get the next title title shot. Yeah, but it's like they're bullshitting, bro. Is I don't think Islam should have got it. I think it should have been Benil, and then Islam should either fight the winner or have another fight and then um fight for the title. I don't think I don't I think thought. I don't think Benil. Darius is a huge draw, though. That's, He's not. That's exactly why, though. That's mm -hmm. why they gave it to Islam instead of him. Yeah. That's that's why that's why they're not pushing. Um, that's why they're not pushing Bilal Muhammad. Like, yeah, he mm -hmm. he he's he he deserves the title shot, but he's probably the least exciting fighter I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably yeah. the same same type of thing. He's not like a huge draw, so they're not really gonna push him. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the main topic. It's finally here. Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia are fighting this Saturday. It's finally here. So I want to get your guys' official predictions. All right, so got... my, my... Go you ahead, go, go you go. Go. my opinion on this fight has changed a little bit. Uh, I still I still got Javante David, but um, I think the fight's going to be a lot more competitive than people are making it out to be. Uh, now when I, when I, when I sit with myself and I think about it, like Garcia is, you know, he's, he's not on Tank's level, I don't think, but he's a lot better and a lot faster and a lot more powerful than some of the guys that Tank's even had a little bit of trouble with. You know what I mean? I think Garcia can beat a lot of those guys. I, I think he will give Tank at least some problems in the first couple rounds until, until Tank starts hitting him with a couple of those power shots. Uh, I got Tank by knockout. Uh, how many rounds? How many rounds is this one? Uh, it's, I'm sure it's gonna be twelve. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I gotta take by by eighth round knockout. Okay, that's a good prediction. Mm -hmm. Um, like what you were saying, Antonio, I think it it might be. I mean, I've been on record. I've been saying that Tank's gonna start you within three rounds, right? But I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it. Ryan has all the tools for Tank, as in in the logic of, of course he's not on the level of Tank, but I feel like the tools that he has with the speed and his length and the way he's able to fight, I feel like that nullifies the skill gap. Like he can he can fight if he fights his fight the way he the way like in perfection, he could win this fight, but. I don't know. I see Tank winning. I got TKO. I got. I. I. I won't match you because I was thinking the eighth round too. But I'll. I'll say TKO in the sixth round. I just think that. Um, 
uh, like I seen him against Luke Campbell, and I know that fight was a long time ago, but it looked like he was really having trouble um, figuring out a, the lefty a lefty fighter, and yeah. Tank is the best lefty fighter in the game. So I just think that Tank's going to be a little bit too much for him. He's going to be too hard of a puzzle to solve, especially as a southpaw fighter. Um, and I think he'll get it done in six. It's not mm. a whole lot of guys that can match Garcia in speed, but Tank is definitely one of them. Mm -hmm. This fight reminds me. I don't. I don't know if you guys. I don't know if you guys remember this fight because it was a really, really long time ago. You guys might have been too young, but uh, Mayweather versus Canelo. This kind of reminds me of yeah, that. Yeah, I the, remember that. Way, we went to freaking. That, we went to uh, the Tejada's house to watch that. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like in that, in that, like you know. Back then, it was kind of like how this fight is. You know, Canelo was the really, really young, talented superstar, and Mayweather was the was the proven champion. Is the exact same situation as this. And a lot of people were like, well, you know, Canelo, he's not there yet. He took the fight a little too soon, but if he had taken that fight maybe like five years later when he had a little bit more experience, that's a fight he could have won. And I, now I'm now kind of feel the same way. You know what I mean? I feel like Garcia's taking it a little too... He's not ready for it yet. You know, if he took this fight maybe five, six years down the road, maybe not maybe not even that long, three, four years down the road, it would be a lot more competitive. Maybe he can win it. But, it, yeah, it reminds me a lot of that Mayweather-Canelo fight where, he, you know, he got pushed into the fight a little too quickly, I think. And, yo, I'm not going to lie. Like, this fight is great for boxing because now you, you, you're seeing the result of how big this fight is. Bro, Haney's fighting Loma. Is is Crawford and Spence really gonna fight each other? I don't Probably think not, so. But let's be real. Let's be too much political yeah. boxing shit going on with that fight. Yeah, yeah probably they're, not. They're, but I mean, they're they're talking about it, so that's why I'm bringing it up. Like, that's what that's what happened with the Garcia Tank fight. They were talking about it for so long, and then it just eventually it happens. So. But yeah, I mean, I, Haney, I like, Haney and Loma, like Haney and Loma are fighting, and I feel like they would. They would really like never fight if this fight I, never got signed. Yeah, I feel like there's a difference between like two guys that you could tell they kind of actually really want to fight each other, and then two guys that just talk about fighting each other but don't actually want to fight each other. Mm -hmm. I think I think Garcia and Tank actually want to fight each other. I think. Um, but the Antonio, it didn't it didn't look like that in the beginning though. <laughs> they were talking about fighting each other for years. That's yeah, why everyone thought it was never going to happen. They've only been talking about fighting each other for a couple of years. You know, you got to build it up. You got to try to find the contract. You know, also Garcia's got to Garcia's got to win a couple of fights, build him up a little bit more hype, a little bit more resume, so that it can be more worthwhile for Tank. Spence and Crawford have been talking about fighting for fucking ever, dude, and it's it's never even come close to happening. Like you you I don't, I don't I don't think that fight. I don't think they actually want to fight each other. Like I I like even though they Garcia and Tank have been talking about it for a long time, you could tell they want to fight each other. They're just waiting for the right time for the money to be right. Garcia's got to build his resume up a little bit more. I think I think there's a difference. I don't know, I could I be off what do you think? I mean, I just think, I think that I mean, I think you are correct, but I don't know. I just feel like with with the energy around this fight and how big it really is, I don't know. I think it's getting people to really think about, yo, the the money might be really different. Like, mm -hmm. I might want to start fighting these top guys just so I can get my name more out there. And it's not just just for like the pay per view buys and all that. It's it's endorsements and everything, everything that comes with a big fight like this. I just think that people are really I, I think that people are thinking about like and noticing like the 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 positives when it comes to big fights like this. And I I think the good thing too is that after the fight, regardless of who wins, if they put on a good fight, it's not gonna matter. If you put yeah, on a really not. good fight and you lose, your stock is gonna shoot up. It's not gonna matter if you lost. People are Especially gonna Especially for Ryan in this fight. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people think that he can hang with him. So if he does, if he shows that he's able to, um, he's at that level, his stock, even with a loss, his stock shoots up. I think that's one of the big flaws of boxing, man. Like, everybody's so worried about 
keeping an unblemished record. It's not the record is not as important in like MMA. So the top guys aren't as afraid to fight each other and shit because mm-hmm. you know they're still gonna get they're still gonna get number one paid and like the hype isn't just gonna go away because you lose one fight. I think that's the big thing with boxing. They need to get over that. Like if you lose one fight, just get back in there and make another fight. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I feel like if boxing was a lot more like UFC, the money would have been there. If the top guys would have been just been fighting each other, the money would the money would have been different. Like it would have been way crazier than it even is now. Yeah, I mean the money is crazy, but. But yeah, it would, it, like it, would it would for sure be way more, like way way crazier. I, if boxing if boxing worked like the UFC did, uh, some of those boxers would be billionaires, dude. There'd be more billionaires. Oh, of course. Yeah, it's just that the it problem is that the it for sure. it's just that boxers are like self employed versus UFC fighters are there are yeah, employees. Yeah, yeah, UFC fighters are employees of the UFC. They're basically all like coworkers. Whereas boxing, they're all CEOs of their own company. So they get to pick and choose whatever the hell they want to do without yeah, really and, any punishment. That, makes it really hard. that also makes it really hard to set up boxing matches because it's not like, you know, you got Dana White saying, all right, you two fight. It's all right. You know, they, they, they both have to agree, agree on themselves to fight each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they're also they're also scared that if they again. It's the record thing, bro. They're scared that if they if they fight somebody like that and they lose, that they're gonna lose everything. They're gonna lose the big money fights. They're gonna lose the endorsements. Yeah. They're gonna lose everything. When really, yeah. that's not the case. If the fighters really this this proves that if really if the fighters really genuinely wanted a fight, they could make it happen because Ryan Garcia's whole team they admitted it. Oscar De La Hoya admitted it. Nobody, none of them wanted the fight. Ryan wanted the fight. None of them wanted Ryan to take this fight. But Ryan wanted it. So it proves that if you're willing to put your ego to the side, just be like, whatever, I'll be the B side. I'll go with, you know, whatever the contract says. Maybe have some negotiation. But, you know, you got to understand Ryan Garcia is the B side. But but you see Spence and Crawford, they're both trying to be the A side. None of them want to negotiate. None of them want to, you know take the other person's side and give them the upper hand or they don't want to give him the upper hand in this. So that's the problem. Is it the money factor? Like if he's a side compared to B side, even if the B side wins, does the A side get more money? Is that what the fucking case is? Or is it just pride at some point? Yes. It's, it's more money. It's, um, a lot of them. So like this, this fight is a good example. This fight, this fight is a good example. Like, so Javante Davis has more, or his team has more, authority when it comes to what's in the contract so like they they uh they're doing like a hydration rehydration clause on ryan garcia if ryan garcia was the a side you wouldn't see that rehydration clause but because javante is the a side he put that in there so that could be the same with like the spence crawford fight they're both trying to be the a side so that they can kind of control the tempo of how the fight or how the build lead up to the fight is going to take place because the fight's the fight. It's just the lead up, like the rehydration clause, you know, money, all that stuff. So I think they're both fighting to be that A side. They both genuinely think that they're going to be the A side. But that's the problem when you have all these belts and everyone's a champion. Everyone thinks that they're number one when there should only be one person that's number one. And yeah, that's why I never, they need to fight. <laughs> yeah, I never got that, man. I never got why there's like seven welterweight champions, seven cruiserweight champions. Like, yeah, everybody honestly, can't that's why it's so hard for me to watch boxing, bro, because I I can't follow all that shit. They just hand out belts. You'll be fighting. There'll be two guys just in a or just fighting, not even for a belt. They're just fighting like a ten round fight, and they'll fucking give them a belt if they win. It's just like, come on, bro. Like, give them if you want to give the winner something. Give them like a medal. Or Stop a just handing out fucking belts. Yeah, dude. Like because to me, to me, to me, to me, that takes that. To me, like when you work so hard your entire life for a title, to be the best in the world, it takes it. I don't know. It kind of takes away from it when you know. Five of the guys have a belt. Have the same fucking title you got. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, it's not the same title, but they, I know they it's all not have the same, belts. But like. Like, there's seven other fucking ch- welterweight champions. Like, you know what I mean? Like, now I will say though, bro, the WBC belt, that's the best belt. I feel like whoever has that has the reigns. WBC and the uh, Ring Magazine. Yeah. 
WBC no, and Ring Magazine are the two top. WBC belt looks the best, so I would be like, if I yeah. had that shit, I'm the, I'm, the, I'm the king. Yeah, but the Ring Magazine, I think the Ring Magazine one is the big one. That's the the legendary belt that all the fighters really, really want. That's the, the those belts that like people like Muhammad Ali and all the greats have fought right. for that belt. So I think the Ring Magazine is the the holy grail. But the WBC is, yeah, the WCBC, they be coming out with some nice... I was a little envious, that fucking Jake Paul and Tommy Fury belt that they fought over, that was a fucking nice-ass belt. No, that was a nice-ass belt, I ain't gonna cap. Yeah, they come out, they, they make that some nice-ass nice belts. Belt. I love I the like, black. This fight doesn't mean shit, and that was a nice-ass belt. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, these guys are fighting for no reason, just for money, and they're fucking giving them a belt. I hate that shit. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it, I don't see it that changing anytime soon. I mean, Dan, you see Dana White try to change it, but it's it's too much of a pain in the ass for people to try to change it. So they're just not going to do it. They're too stuck in their ways. And this is how fighters are making the most money. This is how fighters are going to be able to make forty million dollars, fifty million dollars, all type that crazy money. I, I just wish it would, man, because the UFC paved the way. Like that that form of fighting where you bet the best fights the best. Mm-hmm. And if you don't want to fight, get the fuck out of here. Like, that's how it should be. You should you yeah. should want to show that you're the best in the world by fighting the best in the world. I feel I feel like if you had the UFC like model, but with the boxing type of money, that would be perfect. That would literally it be would perfect. be perfect. It would be perfect. And I I think I think that the UFC. I mean, it's already the money is already getting better for the UFC. I think it'll oh, just yeah. keep. Of course, it'll continue. As the company grows, even though it's fucking huge, I feel like that. Of course, the money's gonna get better. It's just it'll never be boxing money. It yeah, boxing. Is, boxing has a lot more years on, and uh, they're a lot more worldwide. UFC's still growing, still growing. Yeah, so course. they still got some time to go. UFC fighters will never get boxing money until they unionize and and try to and try to fight for a bigger cut, because they're only getting they're only getting a fifteen percent cut of revenue so if, if that's the only way they'll ever start to get boxer money mm -hmm. if they fight for like that that 35 45 percent cut like the nfl gets or the nba get the nba gets even more if they if the ufc fighters really 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 fight for that they can get more money but they're not gonna so it's, it's all the money's always gonna be less mm -hmm. i don't know i kind of wish that they would like go on strike so to speak and just refuse to do shit just so they can get paid more and I thought that was going to happen when everyone was blowing up about at least adding fucking healthcare. But it's crazy the fact that how deadly that sport is and them not having fucking healthcare, bro. It's absurd to me. Yeah, that's the only thing that's like I think that I think that will change in the future cuz I think it's going to be it's going to be an ongoing battle. So I think they'll yeah, just be like whatever all and they'll just the organizations are doing it now in. like PFL's offering healthcare. Mm -hmm. Uh they're offering they're offering a, a fifth a way more revenue a bigger revenue split. Other organizations are going to start doing it. UFC is going to have to start doing it, or else they're going to lose fighters. Mm -hmm. Francis and Gano's Francis and Gano is just the first one. Like if they don't change, there's, there's going to be Francis. It's going to be more guys. Oh, and I wanted to um, I wanted to ask y'all, did y'all see that Blake's fighting in Bellator? Yeah. Oh, he is. Yeah. yeah man. Oh, yeah, nice. He was the he was the um cage cage fury champion. He his last fight he lost, but the guy fucking missed weight by like three or four pounds. He looked huge, so I can't I can't knock Blake for losing. And he almost fucking beat the guy, and that guy was huge. He I don't even think he's a, a normal fifty fiver. Mm -hmm. Um, and and now he's he's fighting his first fight in Bellator. He's, he actually fights. He actually fights this weekend, the twenty first. Nice. Oh, he made it for the Same big day. show. We gotta check it out. It's not. It's not. It's not gonna be on pay per view. Um, I don't know. I think it. I don't think so. I think it's on Showtime. We'll have to watch normal. it. All right, we gotta catch that one. But yeah, he's making his debut. I'm excited, bro. That mm -hmm. that guy. He he puts in a lot of work, man. He deserves this shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. He made it to the big show, man. It's been a while. He's been working his ass off for. <sighs> fucking 10 plus years who who knows how long man i'm super excited to see him i will be i will i will have the the fights next week if you guys want to come over and watch on i'll be you know of course i'll be on stream but if you guys want to come over and watch I'll, I'll be getting the fights let's do it
You sure I'm you want to buy them fights? <laughs> it's expensive as hell, but yeah, I'll, I'll buy them. Yeah, they're taxing I'll, on I'll these throw, ones. I'll, I'll, I'll throw in. Wait, are we talking about the boxing fights or are we talking about the UFC fights? I'm talking about no, talk I'm talking about, about I'm talking about Javante Davis. The UFC okay, fight, yeah. it's a fight night next week. The oh, paper the pay per view is isn't until oh, like yeah, three yeah, weeks. Yes, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, how, how much is the fight? I think it's 80, 85, 95, right, I'll throw in. something like that. I'll throw in for it. Yeah, they're taxing on the last this UFC one. event, so I ain't throwing in shit. <laughs> Uh, bye. Right, I'll see y'all uh, next weekend. Got that bait, bye. Yes, uh, sir. I'll catch y'all. See you guys. That's it.